Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at another rune word and this rune word is a very famous one uh, because it is used a lot. Um, it is the rune word leaf. Uh, leaf is a very um, interesting rune word because not only does it have amazing uses for the sorceress herself, um, it also has amazing uses on other characters. Um, if you were an elemental fire druid, um, you could use this for plus three to fire skills early game and, uh, and it would be pretty awesome. Now the, uh, the really cool thing about this particular rune word is that, number one, it is a rather low level at only level 19. Uh, number two, it is only tier and Ral rune, which is um, really, really inexpensive. And uh, number three, you only have to find a staff for it to go in. So before we go over the base, let's talk about the, the item itself. So we have plus three to fire skills, which is amazing. Uh, we have... Uh, level, oh, sorry, adds 5 to 30 fire damage, which is uh, good for a quick bonk at level 19. Uh, plus 3 to Inferno, which is unfortunately garbage. Plus 3 to Warmth, which is amazing. Plus 3 to Firebolt, which is uh, not exactly the greatest. It just depends on whether you're a fire sorceress or not. We also have plus 2 defense per character level, so at level 99, you're looking at 198 defense. Uh, so at level 10, you're looking at, you know, uh, 20 and at level uh, 30 you're looking at 60 and so forth and so on which is uh, which is a decent amount of defense at level 19. Um, you have cold resist 33 percent which is always nice to have on a uh, of anything just a little bit of extra resistances and uh, plus two to mana after each kill which is of course um, very very useful for sorceresses um, elemental druids and uh, and honestly anybody of a lower level character because a lot of the times your skills are only costing one to two mana to begin with and uh, and having that plus two mana after each kill can uh, can maintain your your mana pool much easier. So what makes this rune word so special is the fact that it can be put in a base, which already has plus two skills. Um, now, unfortunately, you do have to find the perfect leaf base, um, and usually you can actually shop for them specifically from. Akara or Drognan, and you can look for your particular skills. Now you might be thinking that because it's fire skills, it's only for fire sorceresses, but that could not be further from the truth. Um, the truth is, is that because it gives fire skills specifically and warmth, it is technically giving plus six to warmth, and warmth is your ability to regenerate mana. And as a sorceress, you were always going to put at least one point into warmth. And if you are an energy shield sorceress or a firewall sorceress, you're going to max out warmth. So having plus to warmth is going to increase the number of spells that you can put out uh, per second. Now what you would do is say if you were a lightning sorceress who was focusing on lightning, you would look for a staff that has plus three lightning. If you were a cold sorceress who was focusing on the glacial spike, you would look for a staff that has plus three to glacial spike or plus three to blizzard. And uh, and if you were a fire sorceress who was looking for um, fireball or firewall or whatever it is that you're specifically trying to build, you would look for a staff that has those particular plus two skills on them. And one of the things that people look for most of all is plus three warp staffs. Now you would be surprised to find out that you can stack this even higher than the plus six that is already on it. So we're talking about plus three fire skills and then plus three warmth. And if you come across a staff that has plus three warmth on it, you could then take that plus three warmth staff, put the, the uh, tier and the rowl in it, make a plus nine to warmth staff. And this is absolutely amazing. So what a lot of people are looking for when they look for a perfect leaf base is they are looking for a two socket staff that has the exact right skills on it that they would like for their particular base. Um, now, of course, you cannot put this in a blue item. Uh, it has to be a white. If you do find a white, you can try and get it socketed. Uh, it just depends on uh, where you're buying it from. Um, some of the lower level staves are only going to get one socket, so you got to be careful with that. And, uh, and of course, the maximum number of sockets on these can be uh, three or four sockets, depending on where you're buying them from and where you find them. So if you find them in a higher difficulty setting and it's only a white, you can try rolling the sockets with the cube and see if you get two. Uh, this one in particular is interesting with plus three shiver armor, plus two lightning, and plus two blaze. So this would literally be plus three shiver armor, plus two lightning, and plus five blaze because of the plus three fire skills. Um, and if you want to shop for these, I suggest looking for Drognan where the door is directly by him. But what you do is, is when no one else is in the game, 
um, you can leave town and then come right back in. And as long as everyone has left town, which is why I suggest doing it by yourself, um, all of the shops in town will reset their items yes. to a new set. And, uh, and you can come back in here and you can search again for bases. Um, so again, we're looking for a two socket staff, not a, um, not a, uh, a three socket or one socket, and we're looking for the right skills. And sometimes this can take quite a while. So if you happen to pick up a staff uh, as you're journeying and it has the right plus to skills on it, hold on to it. Um, if you happen to find one in the shop with the right number of sockets and the right skills, then you're going to want to buy it. However, keep in mind that the staffs can be extraordinarily expensive, so do get some money um, stored up in advance for that purpose. Um, as you can see here, some of these staffs are in excess of 100,000 or more gold, uh, depending on the plus the skills that they have. Um, so, you know, as you're looking through them, you're going to see that the perfect staff that you might want might be really expensive. Uh, this particular staff right here is 183,296 gold. And uh, unfortunately, that's not really what we're looking for. It's a magical staff and um, doesn't really fit the bill. Um, now, you can, of course, make a leaf in just a regular base. It doesn't have to have plus the skills on it. But, uh, but when you're making a leaf, I just feel like it's, it's um, important to, uh, to find that perfect base. Nice. Now, do keep in mind, though, that because leaf is so cheap... And if you find a two-socket staff and you really need a leaf right away, just go ahead and make one. Um, you're going to find more tier runes. You're going to find more RAL runes. That's not going to be an issue. Um, and then what you can do is, is later on, when you do find the perfect base, you can uh, create the perfect leaf for yourself or your particular character, and you can use that for quite some time until you find um, you know, something better to use. You know, like once you get your Oculus or your Spirit Sword or whatever it is that you're particularly going to use, the leaf will hold you out for quite some time until you get there. And with uh, if you happen to find one that has plus three to warmth, um, you can get that plus nine to warmth, which is going to give you a huge mana regeneration and will help you out a ton on your sorceress until you get something better. Good day. And as you can see, I've run back and forth um, several times looking for a perfect base. And although I have found several that could have worked as a leaf, uh, like for instance, this one right here is plus two to firewall and plus two to lightning. That would make an interesting choice for a leaf. And if I wanted it, I would go ahead and purchase that. Um, we also have plus two to firewall, plus two to lightning, plus two to Nova. Unfortunately, it's one socket. So that one is uh, is not going to be great. But you can see the near infinite possibility here of finding a absolutely perfect uh, plus three, plus three, plus three leaf base, and then using that leaf as you level up your characters. Because, you know, if you were a uh, blizzard sorceress or if you were a dual spec sorceress, you could find one that had plus three firewall and you could find one that had maybe uh, plus three lightning and then you could also toss in something like plus three warmth and that would be absolutely amazing. Plus three lightning, plus three warmth, and plus three firewall. Okay. Now, um, keep in mind that certain modifiers, I believe, are unable to spawn on one or uh, staffs that are purchased from the shop um, i can't remember off the top of my head which modifiers are are in unable to spawn on these particular staffs but um when you're looking for ones that you find on the ground those have a possibility to have all the skills on it which is very very interesting so keep that in mind however um a lot of skills can be really really high level so when you're looking at a level 19 leaf base, um, it's only going to be sp spells, essentially, that are level 20, um, unless you want to use it exactly at level 19. So when you have firewall skill on the staff, it's going to make the staff a level 20 requirement. Or if you have a uh, meteor on the uh, the staff, it's going to make the staff a level 20, was it 24 requirement? And uh, same thing with Fire Mastery. Fire Mastery is level 30, so having Fire Mastery on the staff is going to make it a level 30 requirement, uh, and so forth and so on. So this is, uh, this is important to note because if you find a really nice um, staff that has, for instance, Meteor on it, you're not going to be able to use it at level 19. You're going to have to wait until level 24. And... Um, as you can see, it's not exactly hard to find a staff that would work for a leaf base. This one would work for a leaf base. It's plus one fireball. But it's not 
the greatest. And so then the the ever the ever present quest to find the perfect leaf brace base is going to to haunt you. Now, if you just pick up staves as you're running along, you know, whenever you see a staff, you just pick one up and check it to see what the Plasta skills are. It uh, it becomes a lot easier then because you're always looking for the perfect leaf face, and eventually you will find one, and you'll hold on to it. You'll be like, hey, this would make a really good leaf base, and you go ahead and make a leaf in it. You keep it for the next time you level a sorceress or maybe um, an elemental druid. Now, the elemental druid doesn't need a perfect leaf base. He just needs a leaf uh, because the Plasta skills don't, don't really affect him at all. But, uh, you know, if you were going to make one for a sorceress, um, the elemental druid could probably use the same leaf, kind of like a, the, the hand-me-down leaf. Um, now, the one that I have right here has no Plasta skills added onto it, so do keep that in mind. And, um, and But as you can see, I have level 20 warmth here, and uh, as soon as I put on the staff, I'm running level 26 warmth. And imagine um, I had plus 3 on this staff, that would be level 29 warmth, which is pretty darn awesome. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching these videos, and uh, and if you are a low-level sorceress, uh, I hope that this uh, leaf staff serves you well. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep watching.